and what is going on everybody I'm Sugar the Toasty here and today we're playing some more Pixel Car Racer. This is going to be a regular Pixel Car Racer episode and before we get started I just do want to apologize for being a little quiet in this episode or being a little monotone. I'm a little louder than the last video but that's because I'm more awake. Um, It's currently almost 3 o'clock once again just like last episode but you know I'm a little more into it. I'm a little more awake for this episode so hopefully I'm less monotone and just quiet. Uh... The reason I'm quiet is because I don't live in this apartment alone, so I don't wanna don't wanna wake up anyone else, and I don't wanna wake up my neighbors because if well if someone else in the apartment can hear me, then they probably can too. Because these walls are made out of paper mache and toothpicks, like I say constantly. So if someone can hear me, most likely I'm gonna wake them up. So uh yeah. For the spirit of April Fools, since this is supposed to come out April first. Um, I want to build something that would be a little foolish. And by foolish, I mean fooling someone and think it's a slow, and then when someone tries to race them, they get walked. Otherwise known as a sleeper build. What's the best thing we can use for the sleeper build? How about the most boring car in the game? This big old Cadillac. I mean, look at this thing. What, what would you expect out of it? Even the 50, even the forties Mercury. Like okay, here let me show you. Dealership. AS. It starts off cheapest cars are Civics. You you can't have any kind of Japanese car without expecting some kind of build on it anymore. Like it's hard to build like a sleeper Civic unless it's like patinaed and you know on some stock looking wheels and stuff like that. Because, like, everyone's building sleeper Civics, so you expect more Civics to be less sleeperish. I don't know much about these cars, so I can't quite give you a good, um, a good video because I wouldn't have any information on them. I've actually seen a smart car do a wheelie before on YouTube, so. And then Mini Coopers, I've seen them Honda swapped, um, Golfs, I think that's a Pojo, but I'm not sure. That's a Corrado, Rabbit, you know. So then you got this thing, which is the Pinto. I've seen drag Pintos before. It's nothing new. It's a little rare, but it's nothing new. Neons, they got that. But the most, like, sleeperish cars you can get is, like, the 64. Where is it? That one. This Impala, which I've seen both of them actually built into drag cars, so I didn't want to choose those. And then you got, like, the 55 Bel Air, which is known to be a, a drag build uh, platform. Then you got this heavy truck, which, I mean, kind of, sort of. But I think the Cadillac would be best. Now, see, I was thinking of this one. But then I realized that, you know, it's a 50s car. You know, you can get away with putting some big old tires on it because it's a 50s car. You can hide it in the body. So... And you can also get away with a loud V8 because a lot of these cars had loud and uh, loud exhausts because there was less regulation back then. So, give me a second. Okay, so I've been gone for like 5-10 minutes. Uh, it's already 3.03. Um, and I don't remember what I was talking about. I don't, I honestly don't know. But the only thing I do know is that I'm currently at almost four minutes into the video and I barely even shown off the car let alone started building it so that's exactly what we're gonna do um you know what, let's build it and then we'll put the livery on or go buy the livery or whatever uh don't need the don't need the light bulbs might as well put some lug covers on because that's what fits if you put light bulbs on it's obvious that you've modified it because these old Cadillacs usually have like like older uh, light bulbs, so they're usually dimmer and most likely yellow. That doesn't add anything, really. I mean, obviously, I wasn't going to put it on. I just kind of wanted to see because I accidentally clicked on the butt. Now, I'm sorry for this, but it is a Cadillac, and I rarely ever put. I rarely, I rarely ever do this, but I'm a BLS swapping it. Just for the simple fact that. Oh, I like this one better. Just for the simple fact that it makes more power than stop. Did it just increase the weight? No, it increased the horsepower. That's what I saw. Shoot up. Uh, it makes more power. 
and since I don't do it usually, I can probably, I could probably just say like, oh, I don't know where I was going with that. I kind of, the, the train of thought just kind of left me. Uh, let's not put in a supercharger because that's louder than a turbo. So let's just twin turbos. Twin turbo. I was about to say twin turbo swap it, but we're not swapping it or anything. We're just kind of slapping it in there. Lower it just to say like, oh, you know, it's blown shocks. Drag slicks, you could probably hide under this big old body. Now let's see how that looks. Oh yeah, that, eh, other than the fat tires all the way around, it doesn't look too suspecting. Hmm. Do I have any smaller tires actually? I really don't? That's... Okay, that's better. Oh, but it has lettering on it. That's my problem. I'm trying to make this a sleeper. Let me just go with stock tires. Does it, like, change grip? Fine, I'll leave it. We'll just say that, like, big old tires because big car, I don't know. Hoping to take for more power. ECU because it's LS swapped. I don't know if this generation of Cadillac had um, carburetors or not, but since it's an LS, might as well put the ECU anyways. And we can't put the blue exhaust tip on, so we're going to need some more discreet like that. Or do you even see it through the car? No, you don't really, unless you like really search for it. Yeah, see, that's obvious. This one won't be. So even though it's loud, you can obviously say that it's a, you know, it's an old V8 Cadillac. I mean, what do you expect, you know? Gotta stay hydrated. <clears throat> so right now it's saying we are making 2,000, ooh, ooh. 2,197. Let's see what the dyno says. Really? I am two horsepower off of two thousand. You're kidding me, right? All right, yeah, so that's how it's going to be. 1,998 horsepower. Okay. Yeah, because that's how it's going to be. I mean, with the nitrous, it's over 2,000, but I like... Like, when I put it on the dyno, I only put motor horsepower. So, okay. Well, we're almost 2,000 horsepower. Maybe on a good cold day, we'd be at 2,000 horsepower. You know, with the cold air, you know, feeding it more power. So let's go to the street, actually, because that's where sleeper cars tend to tend to shine. I mean, in Mexico, of course. We're totally not Colorado right now in game. No, totally not. Oh, how fitting that the other racer is named Sleeper. Even though I, oh, I didn't put the livery on. I'm dumb. You gotta make it a rusty old Cadillac. There, that, that even adds to the sleeper-esque. Ooh, even better idea. The, do, 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 do. the delete kit. I just remember that I promised it would be a all body kits on episode this time for the DMC DeLorean. Maybe next episode if I remember. See, this is what happens when you go to sleep before making a video or doing anything that you had in your head. You lose ideas, man. It's a or woman. I mean, that's just a turn of phrase, but that's what happens to you. You you forget. So not only did we make it look rusty, but we took the bumpers off. 
and you can't quite see the intercooler. I mean, it looks more like an old radiator, so it fits. Now, why does the front end, after you take off the front bumper, why does it like remind me of an old diesel Mercedes? I mean, I ain't complaining at all. Ooh, a Grand National. One of my dream cars. Sorry, I had it very low. I didn't want it to overpower my voice because I have to be real quiet. Sorry if those sipping noises are real loud. I just realized that I keep doing that really loud. I do apologize. Yeah. 225 in this old Cadillac. I mean, 225 in general. 230's gotta be, like, scary. But in this raggedy old thing, like, in an old Cadillac like that, that has gotta be the scariest thing in the world. That would make... Oh, that would make Lance Armstrong... Oh, no. Is it Lance or Neil? No, it's Neil Armstrong. I'm dumb. It would make Neil Armstrong wet himself. And that man went to the moon in a rocket. So. Uh, Lance Armstrong's the bicyclist. Yeah, yeah, because if you take uh, Neil A... if you, Yeah, if you take Neil A backwards, it's Alien. Yeah, that's that's how you, that's how you remember it. By the way, at least that's how I remember it. Neil Armstrong is the astronaut because Neil A or Neil Armstrong. It's alien spelled backwards. Uh, what was I gonna do? Free run, manual, quarter mile. Let's see what this big old Bertha boat is gonna do on the quarter mile. Ooh, toaster mobile. Hey, what's up? It's even got the spoiler to be like the little handle that you press down to get your toast into the into the um, toaster. Ooh, that was a bad launch. I'm sorry. What? 8.057 with a terrible launch in this big Bertha of a boat. Okay, let's see if we can get to the high sevens. With a better launch, better shifting. Against this Dodson. Neutral. Nitrous. Alright, good shifts, good launch, good shifts. 7.8, there we go. 7.874 in this old Cadillac. I mean, yeah, I get it, it makes 1,998. I was about to say 2,000 horsepower, but no, it's 1,198. I know it makes that much horsepower, but. You know, still, 7.8. Ooh, did that say 1,499? Let's get that to 1,500 real quick. 1,500. And then. And then, um, we'll end the video. One thousand, one thousand, seven point eight zero two, with one thousand five hundred wins. You secured one thousand five hundred wins in the caddy. All right. What was that? Cost twenty gold. I 
I don't know what that did. But I bought some. Okay, well. Okay. Whatever. Alright, well. I guess this is where I end the video off, huh? By the way, if you know what that button just did, um, tell me down in the comment section because I have no idea what that did. I just kind of checked the thing to see if I got a new badge at the top there for 1500 Oh, they canceled the Detroit Auto Show. I just got a notification on my other phone, my main phone, 2020 Detroit Auto Show canceled. Aww, useful advice, even though I wasn't going. Still gotta give my feedback back to the, back to Google. But yeah, if you know what that button I just pressed is, if you know what I did, what it does for the game, tell me down in the comment section because I have no idea. Um, anyways, if you like the video, leave a like. If you dislike the video, leave a dislike. Tell me down in the comment section why you like to dislike the video. Also in the comments, tell me questions, comments, or concerns you have for me. Wow, I haven't said that in a hot minute, but give me a second, I hear noises. Sorry about that, I thought my kitten was getting into something, but I honestly have no idea what that noise was, so. Anyways, uh, if you liked the video, leave it a like. If you disliked the video, leave it a dislike. Tell me down in the comment section why you liked this like the video. Um, what do I usually say here? I threw myself off with that, like, old outro I did, because I, I don't say that anymore for some reason. Like, it just came back, um... Give me a second, I have to go uh, watch one of my old videos. Okay, so apparently I'm not as awake as I thought I was because it's... Uh, talk to me down in the comment section. I love giving thumbs up, hearts, and positive and all good replies, positive support up, and all good comments. But I'll never react negatively to a negative comment because that's what I mean. I'm all about spreading positivity. That's what it was. Alright, now on to the rest of the outro. If you want positive content uh, or just funny retweets in general, I have my Twitter down at the bottom of the description. Above that, though, are two Instagram accounts. Instagram number one is my main for myself and for the channel, so you want to keep up to date with me or the channel, go follow that one. Instagram number two is my automotive-based one. You already hear, you like cars, so go over there and check it out. You'll find something they like, and hopefully you'll like a lot of it, and hit that follow button really does help. Speaking of hitting buttons, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell icon to be notified when I post videos. I post every other day, but not at a set time, so that's what you need the bell icon for. Um, and my second account, uh, you can send in your car. It doesn't matter what you drive, as long as you have an exhaust video. Or a uh, driving video. I prefer an exhaust video. But as long as there's no music and as long as you can hear the car. I mean, send in your car. It doesn't matter if it's a Geo Metro or a Pagani Sonda or anything in between. Send in your car. I haven't turned down anyone yet. I've posted Geo Metros doing burnouts. I've posted muscle cars. I've posted Civics. I mean, the last three posts I put on my Instagram were... Uh, let me just pull it up real quick. I know today I posted a G35, but my last few, sorry I have to switch to the account, the top three were a G35 sedan, a Tatra 603, and a Mercedes diesel, and then I also have a Geo, Geo Metro doing burnouts, I have Nissan Micras, Tauruses, you know, so if you got anything, if you got a car that starts, uh, send it in. Second account. But anyways, I hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching. And remember, stay healthy and stay positive.